This is great. My own personal Grinch is stealing Christmas away from me. Charity just won't leave Miguel alone, no matter what I do. I have to find a way to get rid of her, so Miguel and I can be a family with you. Anyway, beautiful Maria. Now, Andorra, I know how upsetting it is to see all the Christmas decorations in our home and to hear all those dreadful songs. But you mustn't keep doing things that make people suspicious of us. And bringing those elf statues to life and having them fight, it's scary to some people. <laughs> yes. We are witches in a world of mortals. So we have to be very careful. <sighs> well, I don't know what else can go wrong today. <sighs> what? What? What did old Screech want now? Company is arriving for the winter solstice and will be stay. Will be staying for several days? I I don't want company now. Especially not that company. Oh, how will I ever explain them? Huh? Well, I'm glad to know that I can count on you, Woody. You know, some people uh, don't seem to care that my son was taken from me. And I will do everything in my power, Teresa. I promise to make sure you get your son back. Thank you. Excuse me. One sec. Be right back. Her. Today, sir, thinks you don't give a damn about her, son. I know, I know. I know how she feels. You've done all this work. All the research, paying my legal fees, and you... You still don't want Teresa to know that you have No. Please, I, I, I do not want her to find out. She would be so grateful. She'd be so grateful if she knew that you that you cared. No, no, no. Look, this this is not about Teresa. This is about little Ethan. He's my godchild, and Julie and Rebecca had no right to yank him away from his mother and force him to live with them. Even if Julian is the father, he gave Teresa custody. All right, whatever. All I know is if I was giving away my hard-earned cash, I'd certainly want the recipient to know who to thank. Teresa must never know that I'm paying her legal fees. I made a vow to my wife that I would stay away from Teresa. I intend to uphold that vow. Whatever. Every time I let myself get drawn in by my past with Teresa, it's disastrous. I need to stay away from her. And I'm loyal to one woman and one woman only, Woody. Gwen, my wife. So... I have drawn you a nice hot bath. It's gonna help you relax. I don't need a bath. Come on, Sheridan, it'll make you feel better. Yeah, and why don't I, I'll, I'll keep you company. Fine. You see what I mean? She has no interest in anything. What really bothers me, though, is that comment she made about not eating. That if she dies, that she can be with her baby? Well, that concerns me, too. Uh, this is more serious than I thought. We have got to do something to help her before it's too late. Thank goodness I called for that psychiatric consult. Yeah, but when is that gonna happen? As soon as the head of the department comes in from Boston. But for now, we have to get Sheridan to eat, and I can give her some medication to help her sleep. Though she's so exhausted and weak from her ordeal, she could suffer a physical collapse. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Just be there. We'll just all have to keep a close watch and keep reminding her of how many people love her. Well, I love Sheridan more than anything in this world. 
and I am not going to let anything else happen to her, Eve. Are you sure, doctor? Because maybe the tests were wrong. No, I'm sorry. But as I said, the baby is not improving. His condition has become critical. Excuse me. No, no, no. He cannot be critical because you have to do something. We've tried everything we can think of to do, Beth. Well, you got to think of something else. Try something new that will work. We've tried everything. Your baby isn't absorbing nutrients that he needs. Well, there must be something that you can do. I think it's time for you to call a priest to have the baby baptized. You think our baby's going to die, don't you? Yes. No! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't lose two children. We are not going to lose him. I'll go to the chapel to pray. Praying won't help. I need, we need medicine. I want another doctor, another doctor here right now. If you wish, I can call in a specialist for a consult. Fine, just do it, do it right now. All right, all right, I will. But in the meantime, I know you're both Catholic and you'll want to baptize the baby eventually. I highly recommend that you do it as soon as possible. Well, that can wait. I want the doctor here now. Very well. I will get in touch with him right away. <laughs> Mia, <laughs> listen. You and Luis are going to baptize the baby anyway. I think the sooner the better. The All doctor's right. right. All right, I'll call Father Lon again. No, Luis, Beth, no! Listen to me. I'm not giving up hope, all right? Just, hey, we'll, we'll just have him baptized in case, okay? Okay. <laughs> have company right now especially not those wacky people they are completely inexplicable oh what am i gonna do well first of all i have to get rid of the hardy boys and girls inside come on Andorra. painful it is hearing these vile Christmas tunes even with your earmuffs on but you mustn't do anything witchy or you'll give us away to the civilians okay <coughs> excuse me uh, sorry to interrupt but um, I'm uh, I'm afraid to say I, I think Endora's coming down with something what's wrong with her Tabitha well, I don't know I've had, it could be a cold or a, a little ear infection or... oh is that why she's wearing earmuffs what? Oh, oh, they were a gift. <laughs> uh, well, it shows what an overprotective mother I am. But the thing is, uh, I think she might be contagious, so you all better go home. Aw, such a shame. It must be frustrating for you as a mother to have your baby want something and not be able to just ask her what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Charity, what's wrong? Ow! I don't know. Oh, oh yes, and Dora always lets me know when she wants something. It's gone. So you're okay now? <laughs> yeah. That was the weirdest thing. I just got the strangest pain in my side. Yeah, Tabitha, we can't leave yet. We're not through decorating. 
Oh, oh, well, that's sweet of you, Jessica, but Kay and I'll manage to finish up. Uh, we promised we'd help you decorate, so we're going to stay till we're finished. Yes, but I don't want any of you to get sick. Oh, don't worry about us, Tabitha. We're all pretty healthy specimens. Isn't that right, Snuggle Bear? Healthy and happy as long as I'm with my Cuddle Bear. Oh. Right, so we're staying. <sighs> What's going on? You know I want Miguel to stay, so why are you trying to get rid of everyone? This holiday season, an NBC Christmas event. It's a wonderful life. NBC That's is proud why? to bring you the Christmas classic the that has captured our hearts for years. Get us into it's a trouble. wonderful life on NBC. It's a wonderful life on NBC. Did someone turn on the TV? No one was even near it. Technically, Endora was. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, I've been having trouble with my electricity lately, and things just seem to go on and off at will. You ought to have your wiring checked, Tabitha. I mean, if you're having faulty electricity and you're having power surges, it could cause a fire. That's right. And it's, it's especially dangerous right now with a Christmas tree in the house. Yeah, they dry out so quickly. It's a real fire hazard. Well, sweet of you to worry about me, but uh, really, there is no need. Stop with the twitchy finger. You're gonna have the whole house ablaze. Hey, I know you don't want anyone to find out about Endora's powers, but is that the only reason why you're so jumpy? No. This is the reason I'm jumpy. So, we've got company coming. What's the big deal? Big deal is that the company is from the other side. The kind that Charity keeps having premonitions about. Charity? You sure you're okay? No. No, I just had a premonition. Premonition about what? I don't know, but it really creeped me out, Miguel. Something wicked this way comes. What? I don't know. That phrase just pops into my head. Huh. What did I tell you? Right on cue. Charity is sensing the company. How am I ever going to explain them? Okay, now you're making me nervous. I have to get rid of these two gooders, Kay. Please, you've got to help me get them out of here before my long-lost cousins arrive. How's the baby? Not well. He's not absorbing nutrients from his food, and the hypoallergenic formula hasn't worked either. So, so he's starving to death? Oh, my God. Enough is enough. Now you give that baby back to his mother right now. I'm not giving my baby back to that woman. That woman is that baby's mother. You stole him. Because he's not with his mother. He is not your son. He is now. Oh. Hey. Just spoke to Father Lon again. He's on his way over now. I think I should call the rest of our family. Miguel, Teresa, Antonio, but and you're Sher not thinking of asking Sheridan to come, are you? Well, yeah. I mean, they agreed to be godparents to our child, remember? Yeah, but that was before they lost their own child. You mean before Sheridan and I lost our child? Uh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um, what, what worries me is the way Sheridan reacted about losing her baby. I mean, come on. Is it fair for her to come over here and be with a sick child so soon after losing her own baby? I'm, I'm just trying to think about Sheridan. 
Oh, yeah, right. You're just full of concern for poor Sheridan, aren't you? Vance, I see your point. Thank you for being so sensitive. I will ask that Sheridan not come. But I still want Antonio and Miguel and Teresa to be here. Yeah. I think they would want to be here for you, Mijo, and for your little angel. Antonio. It's Luis. Luis. What is it? Antonio's, can you come down to the hospital right away? Why? Our son is dying, and um, Father Lonigan's on his way down here to, to baptize him. Lisa, I'm really sorry. You know, what else can happen to this family, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I, we've already suffered so much, huh? Well, like I said, I, I'm, I'm really sorry about your baby. Is best baby worse? Look, uh, we'll be down there as soon as we can, okay? No, I, <clears throat> I mean, uh, just not with Sheridan. Uh, you, know, you can stand as godfather as we planned, but, uh, you know, Beth thinks that um, she's already suffered so much. Well, I agree with Beth. How is she? Is she, is she getting better? No. No, she's not. Actually, uh, she's worse. She's not eating, she's not sleeping. Well, you should stay with her then. Eve and Gwen are here. And one or the both of them will stay while I come to the hospital. Okay. Uh, I just, um, I don't think that she should come down here. I agree. And uh, I won't tell Sheridan, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Antonio's coming down, and uh, Sheridan is. You won't tell me what, Antonio? Nothing. No, I can tell by the look on your face that something is wrong. What is it? Luis, he, he um, his baby's dying. What's wrong with the baby? How, how is it? How could he be dying? The baby is not absorbing any nutrients from his formula, and we've tried every conceivable formula. Police called Father Lon again and asked him to come to the hospital and baptize the baby. Oh, oh God, please don't take another baby. Please don't take my baby. Oh, sweetheart, but he's not your baby. I know you all keep telling me that it's Beth's baby and not mine, but I still feel such a connection to him, like, like he's part of me. I have to go stand as the Godfather. Sure now. Look, I want you to stay here, okay? He's gonna give you something so you can sleep. No, no, I, I'm going with you. I, I am the baby's godmother. I don't think that's a good idea. It's, it's not a good idea, sweetie. Sure, and you're not in any condition to go anywhere. I'm fine. No, I, I'm going with you. No, come on, let's go. All right, I'm coming with you then. I can't believe Charity found another way to be alone with Miguel. Well, Miguel's nephew is being watered down, uh, sprinkled in some churchy ceremony because he's near death, so naturally Luis wanted Miguel there. Naturally, Charity butts in, too. Well, you can't blame Charity for a dying child. What? How can you defend her? Everything bad that happens to you, you blame on her. Well, that's because everything bad that's happened to me is Charity's fault. She's been trying to do me in for centuries, Kay. You know that. I've suffered dunkings, pyres, stakes through the heart, and all because of her. 
Yeah, that's what you keep telling me, so why don't you just wave a wand and make her disappear? <sighs> oh, I wish I could. I've got more problems on my hands than just Charity and Miguel now. I have got my cousins about to arrive. And I've got to make sure I get rid of these three idiots before they do. Hmm. Well, what could be so horrible about your cousins? I mean, how bad could they be? I don't want to know. Let me see. They're on my mother's side. A bit too much inbreeding, if you know what I mean. Mother? You had a mother? Of course I have a mother. Her name was Samantha. Lovely woman. A witch among witches. Wow. What about your father? Yeah, his name was Darren. He was a lovely man, too. But my family didn't talk much about him. He was a mortal, you see. No way. <laughs> yes, it was a huge embarrassment to the coven. <gasps> oh, well. The nut doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> and Dora's father was a, a mortal, too, you know. He is? You never told me that. Who is he? Mind your own business. Although, it doesn't seem to have diminished Endora's powers very much. <laughs> think what she'd be putting us through if she were a full witch. <laughs> I hate to even think about it. <laughs> Does anybody mind if I turn off the TV? No. Your house to short circuit the neighborhood. Don't the miss heck? Christmas Vacation on NBC. <laughs> the prognosis is not good, Dr. Berg, but I'd like you to take a look at the patient. Good. Good, thank you. Is it the Lopez Fitzgerald baby? Yes. I don't think Dr. Berg is going to be able to tell the parents anything new. That baby is very sick. Oh. How sad. It's always sad when an innocent baby suffers. Oh, I agree. I've been a pediatric nurse for over 30 years, and it hurts me every time when a baby is sick. They're all such sweet, innocent souls. Well, all except for one. All except for one? <gasps> Gotta go, Nurse Kravitz. No. I had to be imagining things that day, or I was ill. I must have been ill. That poor child couldn't have done the things I thought I saw. It's impossible. A and I, I'm sorry that, that I carried on the way I did. Oh, hey. It's Christmas time. What better time to apologize to that poor woman and her baby? And I'll take the baby a gift as a peace offering. Oh, a sweet little lamb. Perfect. Oh, I came as soon as you called. Thanks. So, uh, what's happening? What's going on with the baby? All we know is. He's really sick. And the uh, doctor said it doesn't look very good. I'm so sorry. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, neither can I. Thanks for coming. Well, of course, the baby's my nephew. I thought Sheridan wasn't coming. Sheridan, baby. My poor baby. <laughs> Darling, Mama's No, here. Sheridan, you can't touch him. Sad things? She's scaring me. Doesn't she know how sick our baby is? Yes, she knows. Okay? Why don't we just concentrate on what's what's important, okay? Us being with our baby. Okay. 
Okay. Got your voicemail. What is it? Oh, honey, I'm so glad you're here. This is just awful. Louise and Beth's baby's very sick. I can't believe another child might die. It's awful. Oh, for the lot and thank you. Thank you for coming so quickly. I'm so sorry about your child, Louise. We should start the ceremony right away. All right. I can't wait to give this to that baby. <laughs> what was her name? Uh, it, it was kind of strange. Oh, that's right, Endor. Now, I know no one was near the TV this time, and I just turned it off. So how'd it get turned back on? Is someone fooling around with the remote? Mm, nope, the remote's right here. As I told you, Ross, my electricity is erratic. Pay it no mind. <laughs> but that's not how electricity works. It doesn't make sense. It does around here. Something really weird is going on here. I don't get it either, but as long as uh, the TV's on, let's watch something better than this. The European Central Bank. Uh, there we go. The, the news. Unchanged, resisting pressure to join other <laughs> Man, this is really bizarre. Central banks and help stimulate the slow eurozone economy. Hey, boys and girls, and now for a truly neatherific special Christmas treat. Our boss, the one, the only Santa Claus. Ho, 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 this is ridiculous. He, 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 Santa's coming down. What was that? No, nothing. That was, <coughs> that was me. I <coughs> got something in my throat. stuck in your throat oh, oh, oh yes <clears throat> yes yes Jessica thank you it's 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 out thank you <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Santa's got gifts for you and me ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Santa's got gifts for you and me this is so surreal totally I'm gonna call Louis to enlighten power. See if they'll come and check out the line. Maybe they can find it. Yes, you do that. You call. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put the news back on. Slowing demand for wireless handsets and network. Ho ho ho! He he he! Santa's got gifts for you and me. Ho ho ho! He he he! Santa's got gifts for you and me. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What name do you give your child? Martin. Martin Lopez Fitzgerald. And what do you ask of God's church for Martin? Baptism. Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? We are. We are. May we return the child to its mother? My dear brother and sister, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on the parents and on the godparents and on all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give him the new life in baptism and welcome him into your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, our prayer. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Is it your will that Martin should be baptized in the name of the church for which we have all professed with you? It is. Dear brothers and sisters, we ask God to give this child the life of abundance through water, and through the Holy Spirit. I baptize you, Martin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. Follow the example of our Savior Christ and be made like unto him, so that as he died and rose for us, so shall we. No, no, my baby can't die. I can't lose him. Sheridan. No, no, please, no, please. My baby's gonna die. Please don't let him die. Sheridan, your baby is dead, okay? What? No, 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 no. He's in there right now being christened because they're afraid he's gonna die. Sheridan, that's Beth's baby in their best. Beth, no, no, I know that's what you all keep telling me. That it's Beth's baby, but I, I just feel like it's mine. My poor sweet little baby. Oh my God, maybe I, I am going crazy, but I, I gotta go back in there no, and save him. No, Sheridan, you're not going back in there. Please, just leave me no. alone. Let me go back in there because I know I can make him better. I know I can save my baby. Please, leave me go. Please, just let me go in there. Please, let me go save my baby. <laughs> Santa's got gifts for you and me. Ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Santa's got gifts for you and me. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's talking to her. Before she does something, we won't be able to explain. Ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Santa's got Come on, you guys. You Let's get this me. stuff out of here. Ho, ho, ho. This is truly too strange. Ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Santa's got gifts for you and me. Tonight. Hey, you guys! You've been working so hard. Why don't you come into the kitchen and I'll make you some delicious eggnog? Great idea, Tabitha. Yeah, sounds great. Oh, they're here. Oh, what else could possibly go wrong? Thank you. Thank you for coming. My prayers go with you for your son's recovery. He will walk with God. Ethan, why are you here? You know, my brother's baby means nothing to you. Teresa, Gwen and I are here for Sheridan. Of all the people I expected I could depend on, it was you. But no more. Teresa, I'm sorry. No, don't I... say anything else, okay? I'm done with you. Well, do you see how she turns on you the minute you don't dance her tune? Dr. Gallagher. Louise, Beth, was the baby baptized? Yeah, just now. Good. You can take your baby home now. What? Take him home. So that means he's all right. He's all right, thank God. Beth, Beth, wait. This is Dr. Berg, the gastroenterologist I told you about. Yeah, but our baby's better, right? I'm sorry. I just went over the results of the baby's latest test. Unfortunately, Dr. Gallagher is right. There's nothing more we can do for your baby here. I suggest you take him home and spend as much time as possible with him. You're saying my baby's gonna die? No. You're doctors, you have to do something! I'm so sorry. There's nothing more medical science can do for him. It's in God's hands now. No. 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 I can't believe it's come to this. 
I know, Antonio. I hate it too, but I think it's the best thing that we can do for Sheridan right now. She's in such a emotionally fragile state. I mean, and it doesn't seem like she's getting any better, right? Well, she's in complete denial about losing her baby. She just can't accept the fact that her baby's dead. She keeps insisting that best baby's hers. What's gonna happen to her, Dr. Russell? Well, she's gonna have to accept the reality of the death of her baby before she can begin to heal. So you're doing the best thing for her by admitting her. And as her husband, you need to sign the admitting papers. I don't know about this. I know you don't, but believe me, this is what we need to do. Sheridan's on the verge of a complete breakdown, and this is the only way we can help her. Well, I sure hope so. Let me go! Let me go! Please! No! Dr. Russell, please! My baby needs me! Please let me go! No! Let me go! No! Go! Please! No! You have to get me out of here. I have to get to my baby. Something is terribly wrong with my child. Oh, it feels cold. The baby's gonna die. It's all your fault. Do you know Tabitha Lennox? I still feel that evil's close by, Miguel. Ah!